who are Israelites. Who are Israelites? That's that's a hey, that's that's a triple stacker. Okay. Yeah. Like how you go to Wendy's and then you get the, uh, they got the two patties and then you get the, the triple decker. Yeah. I think it's Burger King. <laughs> That's the that triple perfect. decker. That's a that's a that's a big heavy meal for some of our people. They can't yeah. handle it. That's who that's for. It's talking yeah. about who are Israelites. When it says therefore brethren, right. there's no Greek, there's no Jew. What's that? What's that scripture, bro? There's neither Greek or Jew. Yeah. Uh, Galatians three. Galatians three. That's bro. John three sixteen's little brother. Yeah. You know, Christians try to bring that up. Yes, bro. Not knowing what it means. And you know what, bro? We gonna get Isaiah forty five and five, I think, or seven. And we're going to get John in 3.16. We're going to get all that good stuff. We're going to get it all. We're going to show you the ingredients, but it's not for you. Okay? What was it? Galatians what? 3.28. Yeah, 3.28. And, and let's get John 3 and 16. Because I already read to you. I already read uh, Deuteronomy... 4 and 27 okay we already read Deuteronomy you know 32 and 8 okay Deuteronomy 7 and 6 how much more we gotta get for y'all man I got a couple of what was it again brother you said Galatians 3 and 28 yeah 3 and 28 it's Galatians 3 and 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male or female. For ye are all one in Hamashiach Yahweh Hey, so who's that talking about? It's not talking about the little Greeks. Okay. Read, read that again, brother. It's Galatians 3 and 28. There is neither Greek. I mean, it's still like there is neither Jew nor Greek. So when it's, when we when we read John 7 and 35, it told you, it gave you that account. There's two definitions. Okay? What's going on? Oh, you believe in the gospel? Oh, let me see. What does that mean? Oh, that's a cross. That's cool. It's an idol. It's an idol. I'm sorry? It's, a, it's an idol. What's it mean to you? Ephesians 3. Ephesians no, 3. Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6. Uh, verses 10 through 17. Yeah, the principalities, that, what about that? The principalities, what? what about it? What is it about? No, I'm, no I know what it says. The principalities, the rulers of the earth. What's, the, what's, your, what's your point? Ephesians 6? Yeah. Why are you defiling your temple with smoking a cigarette? Ephesians 6. Hey, bro, why are you defiling your temple smoking a cigarette? Huh? Ephesians 6. Oh, what about 1 Corinthians 3? Why are you defiling your temple, bro? Is put on the full armor of God. Yes. From what, though? Know yeah. what, it's, From know what, what though? it says. I hope you got ar armor for, from lung cancer. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing fine, young man. Yeah, right. it don't look like it. <laughs> are you sure you don't need that wheelchair then? You yeah, exactly. You can get up and walk. walk 10 miles. Walk, well, hey, you know how uh, Peter healed the lame? Get up and walk, bro. Walk across Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia. Oh, hey. My you grandpa do, was over there. Do that. My grandpa was over there. Tell me. The toy he soldier. Brought, he brought him back in hey, Concubine. Toy soldier, man. Yeah, he's a you know, toy soldier. The, and America lost Vietnam. Yeah. So Yeah. He's like, walk across Vietnam. Man, my, my grandpa went over there. So what? Proud of shit. So exactly. what, man? That don't mean shit. But nothing. My grandfather dodged the draft because he wasn't fighting for no devils. Oh, like Ali. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, man. He's an idiot, man. Hey, man. You what? Yeah, that's the spirit, bro. See, we, we, we were cutting and slicing, edifying, bringing up precepts, and then the devil had to come up. But it's precepts. And you know what? We're going to get on Esau, too. We're going to show we're gonna show you in the Bible that Esau has nothing to do with nothing. Esau's still here. Esau right there. Esau's right there. You got Esau all over the place down there. We got Esau behind us. Esau just came up. That Galatians 3 and 28 for him, man. Yeah, come. Heard that. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Preach the gospel. Let's, let's get it again. Uh, hold me John 7 and 35 again, bro. It's Galatians 3 and 28. 
there is neither Jew nor Greek. So when they say Jew nor Greek, so it don't matter if you're Israelite or a heathen, right? We all one, right? When when you go into the precepts, like John 7 and 35, it's talking about Israelite foreigners and Israelites that know they're Israelites. Go ahead. There is neither bond nor free. Yeah, so it don't matter, you know, we're, uh, like it says in James, um, I think five and three, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're rich in faith, okay? But ye are all one in Hamashiach Yahusha. Yeah, okay. So let's go back to John 7 and 35. So that's, that's, that's what they want to use to justify their philosophy, that this is a one world order. That's their doctrine, the one world order. That's what the Rothschilds want, a one world order. Okay, but that's not what this gospel is about. This gospel is not about a one world order. Okay? In a way it is, because uh, all order under the Israelites. Yeah. It's only going to be one way. Yeah, Khan, not under yeah. Esau. Right. That's the world order that's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Khan, uh, precept real quick. This is 2nd Edris 8 and 1. It says, and he answered me saying, the most high have made the world for many. It's like it says, and he answered me saying, the most high have made this world for many, but the world to come for few. Okay, it's only coming, it's only for the nation of Israel, okay? You, you got Esau on top right now, okay? And all the nations are above us right now, okay? That's why this world is for many because Esau is on top and he has all these nations over us too. And we're suffering, we're under this captivity. That's why we're dispersed among these nations too. But guess what, the world to come is for a few, only for the nation of Israel, all right? And that's what we're proving to you with these precepts and breaking them down that, uh, we're, we're breaking down with these precepts that is only talking about the Israelite scattered abroad, okay? When it talks about so-called Gentiles, and I, and I say so-called Gentiles because they're not Gentiles, they're strangers to their their heritage, and that's why we have to come out to the highway and hedges and preach the word. You know what I'm saying? And draw our people in and bring back that uh, one stick. John 7 and 35. Then said the Jews among themselves, "Yep, whither will he go?" And we shall not find him. Hey, oh, you know what? Read Galatians verbatim. Okay? Because this is talking about the so-called Lord that y'all want to believe. Okay? And you don't realize when they use Greek and Jew, we're all one in Christ. Guess what? It's going to give you a definition that's only talking about the Israelites, not everybody else. Okay? Uh, Galatians 3 and 28. There's neither Jew nor Greek. Right, neither Jew, right? Talking about you, Edom, right? They think it's talking about the Edomites. Go ahead. And that's, I'm sorry, and that's just the main, when it says Greek, that translates into white people. Yeah, God. Yeah. So, somehow. Right. They no. don't want to look it up, though. The whole third beast is taken out of history, showing you that people were forced to be Hellenized. Exactly. Maccabees, that gives you the account. Maccabees is a precept to that, man. Yeah. Okay? Cutting, up, cutting us up in pieces, making us eat pork. Uh, killing our children. And yeah, and that's what they did in history. Yeah, that's what they did in actual history. Right. Damn devils. Yeah. yeah. And we're showing you you're the devil according to the Holy Bible. Right. Okay. You know? God, your face is terrible. <laughs> so, like, read that again, brother. Galatians. Yeah. Uh, Galatians, three and twenty-eight. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There's neither male or female, but we all one in Christ, yeah, in Christ Jesus. We so, Christ so y'all read that, and then y'all go, okay, that's talking about everybody. Well, guess what? Give me John seven and thirty-five. So that's when they go, oh, there's no Jew nor Greek. Okay, let's see what that means. John seven and thirty-five. They said the Jews among themselves, whither will he go, and we shall not find him. Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? The dispersed among the Gentiles. So that's what it's talking about. There's neither Jew nor Greek. Okay? When it says there's neither Jew nor Greek, 
It's talking about the dispersed among the Gentiles. Okay? But they don't, they still deny that. You know? That's too bad. But look, we are, look. You see your net. What's your, what's your uh, father? What's your father? Look. African American Judah. See that? That's your nationality, Judah. Yeah, you can. Of course. That's in the Holy I Bible. I was told that I came from Issachar. Issachar? Is yeah, your father a uh, so-called Mexican? Or no. This is, where, where did this come from? This is, that's in the Holy Bible. It gives you the, the spiritual characteristics of our people yeah. and, the, and the tribes. And in their history, they all went into slavery. Okay? Because we're God's chosen people and we got to keep his laws. Yeah. You know, so like you, you, you beautiful sisters, got you wore dresses. You know, our women need to cover up. You know, wear modest apparel. Yeah. You know? That, that's a part of our laws, you know. Don't don't eat pork, you know. Uh, you know where I could find this? Uh, the Holy Bible. It's where? right. Uh, King James Version, KJV. It's uh -huh. the 1611 King James Bible. Do you? The King James Version. Do you um? Do you use the internet? Do you use the internet? What scripture? Which scriptures? Oh, what scriptures to show this? Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, it's in Genesis 49. But the thing is this though. Um, just like when you go out and eat a meal, you, you don't just wolf it down in one bite. Right, it right. takes time to understand it. Yeah. So what we can do is, do you use the internet, like on YouTube and stuff? Yeah. So if you put in um, microchip 666, we, we teach lessons on the Bible, oh, on everything. Awesome. Microchip 666. Right, and you'll see okay. us. And, and, that, and that name right there too, that's talk, the chip is in the Bible too. Because oh, yeah. it's yeah, about I, the- I'm, I'm yeah. conscious, I'm aware. Oh, that's be, that's I'm beautiful, sister. Okay. Judah. You're, you're, yeah, you're an Israelite. Okay, the only thing is, is the misconception, misconception of where I was told I was placed. I was placed. Yeah. Oh my God. It's a car, but now I gotta do research yeah. on it. Yeah, it's a car. Yeah, because when you read, when we read Second Edges, the 13th chapter, it talks about those tribes that were here in the Americas. They were also the way I was taught about this yeah. is when you were born. When you were born. Okay. That's I've heard how of that. We were taught of that. Okay. So, uh, because of when I was born, I was placed in Issachar. I'm going to ask you a question, because I'm, I'm familiar with that. There's yeah. people that teach about Israelites, and they say your tribe is your birth month. Yes. But that's not the, that's not in the Bible. I got to look into that. You know? All right, thank, thank you. Thank you, sister. Okay. Thank you. Hey, we're Michael you Chip. We're Michael Chip, huh? I know you. No, he, it was on me. Oh, okay. We, we Michael Chip 666. So if you want to get lessons, we... Okay, we thank you. We'll be out here every Saturday, too, Lobo. Okay. But they get, you got camps that teach that if you're born in October, you're Benjamin. Yeah, that's you know. stupid, man. Yeah. You niggas is going off, man. You're teaching that. First they off, they they some zodiac sign Israelites. Yeah, zodiac sign Israelites, that. man. That's weird. Hey, guess what? That's that's the that that's the Gentile Israelite right there. You know how you cut that? Numbers one. So if a guy's father is born in May, but the hit but his the son is born in January. To them, they say that's two different tribes. Yeah, that's stupid. So that makes no sense. Numbers 1 and 18, you, you come from the seat of your father. Like, you know, yeah. wherever you're dispersed at. You know what I mean? It doesn't have anything with the month. That don't make sense. The month, that's that's some damn uh, Greek mythology on that, you know? It's lucky, man. Let's go back to the scripture. Read the Galatians again. We're going to cut straight through with the 7, 7 and 35. Galatians, grand 28. Oh, I know about that. They're trying to give niggas the market of beast. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about that if they, they cut the dollar bill? I want to know what it's going to be, though, because I feel like it's hella new shit coming out. I want to know what, they, what it's really going to be. Is it going to be an actual chip? Or yeah, it's going to be actual chip. Is it going to be like technology or something? Both. Uh, you know it's in the Bible? Yeah. Done. So you know it's in the Bible. That's it right here? Yeah, that's it. Hey yo, how y'all get that? Yeah, internet, we just I ain't never seen this yet. Yeah, it's the size of a uh, bear like a rice, a rice bear. Covered. Yep. Yeah. 